You're afraid of someone not liking your photographs. People are supposed to not like your photographs. It means that you're focusing on a specific niche. This is the Cardi method. What you put in, you get back out. So if you're fearful of something, therefore you're not putting anything into it. And therefore you're not getting anything back. And then you can't be asking, how come this isn't working? Well, because you're afraid. You're afraid of actually enlarging yourself so you can be bigger than the problems that you face. Any fear that is attached to a creative project, a photography project, a video project, or ongoing work, any fear that I have attached to it, I lean into. I lean into anything. If, if I'm like, anything that I'm afraid of doing, if it's attached, to my photography, to my, making a video, to my business, anything scary, I lean into it. It's like, this is a new thing. This is a new thing. Like, I was never like this. I was never like this with business. That was the thing that I was too afraid of. I'm afraid of heights. I lean into that though. I'm afraid of heights, but I lean into it. I don't jump out of airplanes, but I will go into situations that make me feel that like, whoo, I'm going to pass out, but I do it. I'm afraid of ladders. I climb ladders. Have I fallen from a ladder? Absolutely. Absolutely. I climb scaffolding. I'm doing a project for the city where I have to climb the outside of this like silo and it's like 15 stories in the air on scaffolding. I'm scared to death, but I do it. I'm super cautious, but I still do it. I still lean into my fear. I assess safety. Like literally, I assess safety every second of my life. Every second of my life. I get it from my dad. My dad is like Mr. Safety. I try to keep me, anybody who's around me, I try to keep them all safe. It's like, it's my thing in all context. So with photography, sadly, staying safe is the exact opposite to what we should be doing i'm not saying by the way go become a rooftopper or shooting like those videos where you're like on top of buildings illegally like i'm not saying do that but i am saying that we can lean into the fear of making work we can lean into the fear of the work in general we can lean into the fear of the industry fear is just lack of information you can lean into the fear of sharing the work, putting yourself out there. Whatever area you're fearful about, if you're fearful about being on camera, I was fearful about being on camera, but look at me, I'm right here, I'm doing it, and I do not care, because I've, I've enlarged myself, I've made myself bigger than the fear of actually doing it. I just do it, and I don't even think about it anymore, and I realize being on camera like this has changed my life and it's changing the lives of the people who are getting this information. So I had a dream of being a pro photographer. I had that dream when I was 17 years old. And I got to tell you, I've gone through adversity. I've had surgery. I've flatlined. I've like, I've done some insane things and had some insane things happen for me. Back in the day, I would have said, oh my God, all these horrible things have happened to me. But I realize now as I'm older and wiser, I mean, I'm 53. Like once you get older, you realize things don't happen to you. They happen for you for you to learn and for you to be able to figure out a way for it to not happen the next time. So know that I figured out a way to make a dollar with my camera when I was 19. I figured out how to make money with my camera when I was 19 and even before photography school. And by the time I was 21, I had a studio and I was making a living with my camera. It, there was, there was fear, but I did it anyways. Like, that's the thing. Like you can overcome fear and it's like, it's the most important journey that you have to embark 
as a photographer is getting over the fear. It's the most important journey that you're going to ever deal with. It's like, understand that our focus on a particular challenge, for me, my thing, my focus was the fear of talking to new people and cold calling. I'm horrible at talking to strangers. Me even saying that, I'm affirming it. I'll rephrase it. I was horrible at speaking to strangers. I was bad at breaking the ice, at cold calling, at talking to strangers. But I didn't have the information and I didn't have the confidence. I was diminishing myself and I was actually pumping up the fear. And all that did was make it so I didn't do anything. It made me paralyzed. Fear has an incredible impact. Fear can manifest in various forms. For photographers, fear appears as rejection or inadequacy. Like you're afraid of someone not liking your photographs. People are supposed to not like your photographs. It means that you're focusing on a specific niche. That's not, they're not for everybody. So, I had that fear of initiating conversations with people, with potential clients, with cold calling. But it's like, I realized as I started to progress through my photography career, the fear of interacting with clients was a significant barrier. It was actually holding me back. Like, and also, I was actually making this fear grow stronger by avoiding it. And years went by, decades went by without me addressing the fear of reaching out to potential clients. And because of that, it almost ended my business. When I confronted it, like when I started to confront it, I realized like there shouldn't have been fear there at all. I realized that like, people are just like me and like attracts like, and I would find my tribe. Fear arises because of a lack of experience and self-belief. We have to actually believe that we can do this. You have to believe that and you have to tackle that fear head on. And self-confidence comes from you learning information, applying that information and seeing the results for yourself. That's where self-confidence comes from is that whole act of photography is a self-confidence builder because each time you photograph, the next time you go out, you should be better if you're learning from the mistakes you made the last time. So fear comes from a lack of experience and a lack of self-belief. And you have to tackle that head on.